But, yeah. This mobile suit I picked because I haven't used it yet, or at least this particular level of it on this particular account, and it's in my colours. Um, I did it. I made painted this on a loose basis of uh, the uh, Easy SR. I painted. Ah, yeah, the Easy SR. What's annoying about that is it comes with three equipment sets, but you can only use one. Kind of makes or me what. You can do what I did. You just sort of cobble them together. Um, yep. It'd be nice. Until I broke the backpack off. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice if they just sold the base body, so you could just get two of that, so you can equip it properly. Like, several times I've imagined, okay, use magic reality warping powers to create such a kit, like the other day, even when I was watching um, Kakarot's review of the EZSR, and basically make a new uh, a kit, which is just the body, but it also comes with additional parts to sort of fix the color correction, like on the actual Gundam looking head, fix that so it's not so sticker heavy. Um, I basically just painted in a red color I didn't get yeah, pro I, I, I didn't properly focus on it so um I'll see it when you spawn maybe yeah, mm. I should have just ejected out but I wanted to smack you around so at least you capture the point this time mm. also yeah this is the duag in my colors I think I remember playing with someone and they said that so oh your mobile suit's black no it's gray uh, you're doing no damage at all. Okay, so like a light, a light gray and a, it's kind of like a dark pinkish red, like a maroon. Yeah. My kit, I actually use. You will stop. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will happen to you. <laughs> it's it's like a lot of freaking so like doing some kind of um. A ransom video. So if you do not stop, this will happen. <laughs> Just smack, smack my hostage around a bit with these big ass hands, which aren't even hands. Although there is a variant of the Duag that does have hands, but it only appeared in like a a cutscene for a game, and that was only for like three seconds. I didn't kill it. I did. You can't kill me up here. Well, you can, but you want me up here. Sure. Alright, do I change pose when I zoom in? There you go. Do I change yeah, pose? Are you uh, out of zoom? Yeah. Zoomed. Unzoomed. Zoom. Unzoom. Unzoom. How the zoom. heck do they see with that uh, lovely uh, bar? <laughs> right in the <laughs> yeah, this is the same thing with Zuda. Like, What's the that? eye does not even move at all in, in the suit. Well, it does when I do melee. I mean, if, if you look at my face. You know, it's yeah. the, eye, the eye moves when I do a side swing. Yeah. Backhand. That's just a nice swing. 
feel like I'm just doing an interrogation video. Kind of makes me want to see it from the other side. But, mm. So are these like your custom colors or something? Like your personal colors? Um, they were my easy. They were my easy SR colors. Yeah, basically the gray and red toys in the coloring, but because I had an easy SR as one of my first kits. Yeah. Somewhat uh, appropriate. My first HUC kit was the Guff Custom, so kind of appropriate. Uh, my first kit actually was the. Oh. My first kit overall was the old 90s HG, uh, not HGC, uh, the old HG Endless Waltz Sandrock Custom because it was used, or at least the 1100 kit of it, which I didn't know what the difference was when I started getting into Gumpler back in 2014. Um, but yeah, I got the 144 it, when I should have got the 1100. Uh, but yeah, the Sandrock Custom, because he's funky and he's currently on top of my. Uh, case in the sitting room here. He's a little uh, duffed up because I've had to glue his right uh, forearm on because the peg snapped. When I built him, his I accidentally snipped off the peg that attached his face to his everything. Well, the rest of his head. You know, that's actually it. That was actually kind of clever. Stunning me with a bazooka to keep me in place. <laughs> That, that, would have, that would have been actually kind of smart. Had it worked. But yeah. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, my second ever kit was the real grade Zagok. So, that was a way to start. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, my, do you know what my third ever kit was? It was the Master Grade Verkar New Gundam. So, I went from basic ass bitch high grade, which is old and therefore even simpler, to a pretty advanced kit with the real grade Zagok, and then I went to the freaking Master Grade Verkar, which are Master Grades, but more advanced. So, that was a way to start. And the next batch of kits I got afterwards were some of the real grades, like the Seed Lab. And of course the real great RX-78, I think. Yeah, it was him, the Justice, and the Freedom, I think, and the Strike. And the Sky Grasper. But after them, I bought the um, Goof Custom. And, yeah. Do you know how many uh, Gundam kits I've got now? About a hundred. <laughs> Double that. Oh, there you are. I haven't moved. Um, but yeah, my, my Gundam collection numbers in the 200s. Well, it, it was like 200 strong. I can't actually move when firing those. Whoops. <laughs> I'm, I'm the second slowest thing in the game when I was able to dodge you. How was I able to outmaneuver you? <laughs> Not predicting you to do that. Not to move slightly to your right. <laughs> slightly to the left. Man, yes. Oh, what's that from? That sounds familiar. Spaceball. Uh, it's a uh, Blue Harvest. It was the uh, Family Guy spoof. Ah, yeah. I, when I was in Sainsbury's yesterday, yeah, yesterday, um, I saw the DVD of the latest. <laughs> A uh, season which apparently Stu and Brian become tiny. Oh god. Yeah, because the cover was them running away from a giant Peter about to step on him. I haven't watched that. I haven't watched Family Guy in a long time. The, la the last season I got on DVD was the one where Brian was killed off temporarily. 